Massachusetts leadership turned out in full force today to celebrate a massive collection of cash, which will soon fund work on the Cape Cod bridges. John Maroney, live and born with us for a look at today's celebration and all that work that lies ahead. John? Corey, the bridges are both nearly 90 years old, but they are vital to the Cape, and the state says it now has enough money to begin work on at least one of them. It's good to have somewhere place, you know. It's good. It's a little bit old, right? <laughs> the Sagamore will be the first of the Cape Cod bridges to be replaced with the help of a new billion-dollar grant from the federal government. We secured this, and tomorrow we get after the Bourne Bridge, and, and we'll be working steadily, all of us collectively, on bringing that home. The governor gathered near the Sagamore with members of the state's congressional delegation. Here's a look at the financing to date. The state has ponied up $700 million, the feds $1.72 billion, the cost of replacing both bridges $4.5 billion. It is Christmas in July on Cape Cod <laughs> as we deliver $1 billion. The existing structures will be replaced with twin arch bridges with three separate lanes for traffic going on and off the Cape, as well as space for pedestrians and bikes. It will be built off-site, shipped in on barges, and assembled over the canal. They're going to be almost 100 years old by the time the project starts. Um, who knows how long it's going to take. Timetables are still a work in progress. The Sagamore could be done in 2034, followed by the Bourne two years later. But getting the rest of the money for the Bourne could be tricky if there's a new administration in the White House the first of the year. I'm skeptical of the price tag um, and, and what, how it's going to change between now and when they actually get around to starting the project. Now the bridges are old. They do need to be replaced, but the state says they are safe until that happens. For Alive and Born, John Maroney, NBC10 Boston. All right, John, thank you.